Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we're back with another VV and Ecomi video. In this one, we're going to be focusing on the Omi token, which obviously a lot of people enjoy hearing my opinion about this since I've always been the one talking about the potential of it going to $10. Now, obviously, I don't feel as strongly about that as I once did, mainly because that was always dependent on a bunch of different catalysts. And those catalysts was built upon what well, was based upon vv actually being able to deliver certain things which they just haven't shown that they're competent enough to deliver these things people want to bring up oh they they made billions or whatever like they they want to say all of this stuff about how amazing vv is the fact of the matter is it was the biggest bull run in in the history of the world for nfts and that, like that it was a bubble it's like the dot-com bubble it was a lot of companies that did great doing the dot-com bubble but didn't live up to the potential and then you got some some of them that came out and became Amazon. It's like, that's just what happens. Like, just something can blow up. And, and it, VV was the only NFT project with actual IP as well. So it's like, people try to make these strong cases for why, oh, VV is, is an amazing company. Like, no, VV has not shown that they are still amazing. They've shown that they are great when it comes to licensing. And that is David Yu and Alfred Kahn. There is no other aspect of this company that looks impressive to me. But... I will still be purchasing more Omi tokens. I, I didn't sell every single piece of my Omi. Like, I still have Omi, and I will be buying more. Obviously, I knew that the price was going to start dipping. I'm expecting it to dip more. But, I mean, who knows? This is a great buy-in point, though. I mean, like, this, this, is a great, this is a great buy zone. Personally, in my opinion, like, obviously for me. Now, um, all I do is tell you all what I do, my decisions and why I make my decisions. But... I will tell you all this. I'm going to be buying the Omi token because currently there's it's going to be hard to compete with VV. I still think VV is going to be a contender. And while I don't believe we'll more than likely see the potential of seeing a $10 Omi token, I still I still believe that the token from where it's at right now is definitely going to go up compared to everything else out there. It's like, yes, even some more companies can pop up with IP, but I still believe the Omi token will rise and go somewhere. I just don't believe it'll go at where it had the potential to go. And when I say, when I always talked about the $10 Omi, it always had the potential to go there. Now, obviously it was, BB would have had to continue to do everything perfectly and do everything right, which they, like hundreds of millions of people around the clock, you got people in Asia burning the Omi token in the metaverse, like being able for us to be able to build out different experiences in the metaverse and charge Omi and stuff like this. And all of these transactions burning the Omi token, it would have taken a lot to get to that $10 mark. And, and I like I don't I don't even know if all of this stuff that they promised is still even part of the plans. But I will tell you all this one thing that I do have comfort in. You have influencers in this community who's definitely over leveraged, and you have people who they like they're in deep. Like you got a lot of people in this community that's in deep, but you have influencers who are very much in deep, and they they're powerful. They have powerful friends and stuff like that. So I I'm very very confident they will shield this token. Like, I have more confidence in the community shilling this token than I do in the team delivering and making the token valuable. And that's the difference between my investment strategy now and my investment strategy before. I truly believe this team would deliver, create Ready Player One, and have hundreds of millions of people burn this token around the clock. And, and like, I 100% I, I believed that before. Now, that could still happen, and I'm hoping it does. I'm hoping that VV gets it together and still has the same vision. Maybe they can speak, be a little bit more transparent, give us a little bit of hope that they still have the same plans. I'm hoping that this is still the company that I invested in. Like, I want to be wrong about what I'm seeing because me seeing them do under-the-table under the deals and things like this, like, me me seeing all of this stuff, it's, it's this is not how I want to look at this company with this much potential. I don't want to look at them like this. I want to see great things from them. But as it currently stands, they're ducking any difficult question. They're not delivering. Like they're, 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 any new IP is not impressive to me. But I also, I, I, I'm starting to understand the community. So my approach towards this community at this point is understanding that people, certain people are in so deep that they're going to shield certain things. So there's money to be made off people shielding. Like that, that's really what it comes down to. Like these people are in so deep that they're just gonna praise any and everything. So at the slightest, does the slight, something slightly interesting is gonna be blew out of proportion and it's money to be made there. And I, ironically, I'm starting to realize how people work. Like, but but this is why it, like before when I was actually 
doing similar things and, and I had convictions like that where I'm just shilling, not realizing how how incompetent the team was. I wanted to give the team time to prove themselves. I know development takes time and, and, and this it's not easy to do something that's never before been done. Out of the gate, it was the people saying, nope, this team will never be able to do it. But there was always a chance. What if the team could have done it? What if the team didn't mess up and didn't screw up this bad? What if they didn't lose all these advantages they had? Like, that chance was always there. Like, if if they 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 could have done that, but they didn't. So these people are now running around the community. Oh, I told you it would never happen. I told you they couldn't do it. I told you it was unrealistic. Like, them being able to to be this far ahead when it comes down to IP during the board run, that was unrealistic, and it still happened. So I wasn't going to count the team out, and I still don't count the team out completely. I don't think that this project is going to zero or anything like that. I just feel like at this current point in time, the team isn't showing me anything for me to have conviction towards the team itself, but I have conviction towards the project because of the IP, for one, and because of the cult-like community. I already know these people are in so deep, they're gonna be shilling this Omi token and it's going to go up in value. Now, is it going to go to even a dollar? I don't know. I don't know if it has that type of potential. If they can really get to hundreds of millions of people, if they can really build a Ready Player One type metaverse, if they can really deliver upon the promises that they promised in the first place, then yeah, we can still we can still potentially see see these insane prices that I, I was talking about um, before. But what happens is a lot of people spread around the community that, oh, Vail said it's going to $10 just because, trust me, bro. Like, what? Like, I never, every time I come up with my, with my price predictions, my price predictions and stuff like that, it's always contingent on things. Certain things have to happen for this to happen. Like, that is what I, like, the Omi token being burnt every single day, like, when one side of the world sleep, the other side is up in the VVverse buying stuff and, and, and having experiences having events like and it's just around the clock non-stop things happening in the vvverse obviously that could burn a, a shit ton of omi tokens like basically all the reasons that ten dollar omi is is possible well it was possible i don't know like with regulation maybe they can't do some of the stuff that they would have been able to do like but it made sense for the information that we had um i know people just couldn't wrap their head around it people like just didn't believe it was ever going to happen and Yo, I can't I can't control what a company promises and if they don't deliver upon their promises. Um, I'll continue to give them time, but at the end of the day, with these competitors popping up faster, doing doing a better job than them, like people aren't realizing the big picture here. Because people will sit here and say all day long, nobody has IP. But but what these other companies are doing is they're building out the infrastructure, they're building out the, the hard part, like quit. The hard part, Quit already has a relationship with all these other licensors. So to reach back out to them after they already have all the features, the, all the stuff that Vivi is struggling to build, Quid can has been spending their time building these things. Quid has a lot of this stuff working. And so when Quid reaches back out to these companies and secure the, this big IP, which they've already started to secure a big IP, it's going to just work seamlessly with what Quid has already built. So just getting new IP brands to just keep spamming your IP on your platform, that's pretty easy. Like the hard part is building out the infrastructure, the metaverse and stuff like that. And Quid even has a partnership with that. And this is what I'm saying. The development aspect where VV struggles is where a lot of these other competitors excel. So people think that, oh, VV is king. Like you like praise VV. Like, it's a much closer it's a much closer fight than it should be. It's a much closer battle with a lot of different platforms than it should have been. Like this should not be this close. Like you have to be incompetent for it to be this close, which the VV team is. And it took me changing the position to where I'm not so desperate that I need VV to work so bad for me to actually see just how incompetent the team is. Now you got people like listen, if 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 90% of somebody's net worth is in this project, I'm sorry, if, if people's house is, is staked on this project, if you if 90% of your network, you're gonna say so, everything positive about this project. You have to, you have to. I'll be damned if my entire net worth was in one project and I'm saying something negative about it. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> but I was one of those, I, I was, that was me at one point in time. So I get it, I get why certain, but that's the thing. These people are gonna keep praising, keep shilling, keep, 
and it's money to be made there. But I mean, there is potential. But I just want people to manage their expectations now. Um, now people always want to bring up, oh, Cavell, a year ago you was this, a year ago you was that. This is what happens when you spend a year growing, a year changing, a year becoming better. You should grow, your mindset should change, you should become sharper, and you should understand your flaws and fix them. It's really that simple. People don't like to grow. People don't think that growth is okay. People always like to hold you to what you were. But I don't need praise for what I've become. I am who I am at this point in time. You can mess with it or not. You can only mess with the moon boy who was clueless and thought that I thought that I saw everything clearly. No, I was a hell of a lot more biased then. And when I stopped being biased, a lot of people turned on me. And that's what it was. That like when I truly became unbiased, that's when a lot of people turned on me. So that should tell you something about this community. If someone becoming truly unbiased or and being unbiased means that they they they're they're being manipulated by another company, they're being paid to say something like if, if you feel that way about someone, you should really take a look at yourself and see if you're truly unbiased or if you're really over leveraging a project. But that being said, I will still be buying the OMI token. This is a great buy zone. Um, there's still potential in this project. Is there as much potential as there could have been? I don't believe that there is. I think that there's too many competitors rising up and Vivi is not in the position that it should be in and that it could have been in. I don't believe that VV did what they should have done and could have done. Um, and yeah, I think that they're in a, a pretty pretty bad position compared to where they should be because of who they are. Like with their type of success that blew up like that, they should be much farther along. Now, I like still, they're, they're ahead and people, like the VV community wanna, oh, we're still ahead, we got all this IP, they're still dropping stuff, like, cool, that's cool for them, but where they should be and where they are now, if you can't be real with yourself and say, if Vivi wasn't fucking up for the last two years, they would, this this would be to the moon already. Like you got all type of Pepe coins blowing up. You, you done had Dogecoin, you done had Shiba in you. You done had all type of shitters blow up and Vivi can't even get the Omi token onto an exchange still, which was promised years ago, right? Like they said four exchanges by the end of what year? I don't even remember the bullshit they be saying at this point. Like. All these promises that lead nowhere. Can they deliver this stuff and are they going to be big moments? As soon as an exchange gets listed, one, that is going to show some potential. But it, at this point, you can wonder why no exchange has listed this token yet. Like you got all these shit coins coming up out of nowhere and getting listed and the OMI token hasn't been listed. So, but this isn't about, this isn't supposed to be a video about the list of cons and, and things going on like that. I'm just saying... You all can pretty much tell I'm not as confident in the team as I was, but I am very much confident in the community. And I know that these people who are desperate are going to run around getting more people to buy in. And stuff. Like this project is going to go up. This project is definitely going to go up. Um, so there's money to be made here still. And I don't know if it's the moonshot that, that we all were sold, <laughs> but there's potential. So this is why I'm still I'm still holding for 10 years. I'm still a 10 year holder. People want to say whatever they want to say, spend whatever narrative they want to spend. They can do that. But I'll be here. I was here before a lot of people. I'll be here after a lot of people. I've been saying it from the start. Ain't nothing changed. People can spend the narratives, lie and tell everybody one thing or another. But if stuff don't come from me, don't believe it. Like, And if you just read my titles and think you know every word that's about to come out of my mouth, you're an idiot. So you deserve to believe whatever dumb shit you're going to believe. But that being said, that's pretty much it, y'all. Drop that thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications. And I'll catch y'all on the next one, fam. Peace out, y'all.